Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw the pumpkin from Terraria. Let's get started at the top of our page with the eye. So I'm going to move over to the left side and draw on the upper eyelid. Starting from the outside, I'm going to curve in and then just pull that down. Let's leave a gap in the center and do the same thing on the right. Starting from the inside, we'll curve up and then out. On the inside, I'm going to curl the eyelids in. Coming up and in. And then on the outside of the eyelid, we're going to curve in the opposite direction. Going out and then up. Let's tuck the eyes in underneath the eyelid. Starting from the bottom corner, we're going to step in, draw almost like a half circle, coming down, and then in towards that frown line. We're going to do the same thing on the right. Now on the inside corner of the eye, I'm just going to draw a curve, coming down and out. Now we're going to step down and draw in the mouth. Starting from the center, we're going to start with a point. From this point, I'm going to angle down and out towards the left with a straight line on either side. Now we're going to go up and out. And we're going to continue this zigzag pattern. Come down again. Go up and out. And we're going to do one short line coming down and out. Now from here we're going to curl up towards the corner of the mouth. Starting on the left, we're going to go out and up. Now from the corner of the mouth, I'm going to curve down and then in. Now we're gonna add some teeth along the bottom. Starting on the left, we're gonna draw a straight line going up, and then back down. We'll do the same thing on the right. Now we're gonna fit two more teeth in the center. Going up, and then down in the middle, and then over on the right side. Now we're gonna move up towards the top of the head and draw on the stem. So in the center, we'll step up towards the top. We're gonna start with the socket. Starting from the left, we'll curve down, and then up. On the right side, I'm gonna hook this in and then go up. Now on the left, I'm gonna curve up and then swirl this around. Go up in an angle, swirl it, and then just pull that in behind the right side. On the bottom corners of the stem, I'm gonna curve down, aiming towards the eye. Now we're gonna draw on the side of the head. From the top corner, we're gonna step down, I'm gonna curve out around the eye. Now I'm going to pull this in just underneath the mouth in the center. I'm going to work my way back up towards the right side. I'm pulling that in. Now that we've drawn the head, let's work our way down the cloak. So in the center, we're going to step down and start with the skull. We're going to draw almost like a half circle. We're going to open end along the bottom. On the ends, we're going to angle down and out. Now let's connect these two points with a curve, coming down and up. We're going to separate the teeth. In the center, we'll draw a short line going up. Draw another angled line going up on the left and right. Now along the top, we're going to draw two circles for the eyes and then fill them in black. Let's add the edge of the collar. Starting on the left side of the skull, we're going to curve up and out underneath the head. We'll do the same thing on the right side. We're going to fill this area in black. Now let's move to the outside. Starting on the left, I'm going to curve down. Now I'm going to pull this in towards the side of the skull. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Let's add a fold underneath. Stepping down, curve down, and then we're going to pull that into right about there. The same thing on the right. Let's add the sides of the cloak. So on the bottom on the left, I'm going to come down and out towards the left. Now at the bottom, I'm just going to hook this down. Do the same thing on the right, coming down and out, and then hook it down. Now from the corner, we're going to do a hard turn, coming across and in, pulling that down, and then going back in. Do the same thing on the right, coming in and down. Now at the end, we're just going to pull that Cross. Now from here I'm going to curve up in underneath the skull. I'm going to go right in towards the middle. Now we're going to add the back of the cloak. From the corner we're going to step up, start on the left side going up, and then down on the right. Let's add a wrinkle on the side of the cloak. 
stepping down, I'm just gonna curve down and then out towards the left and then the right. Now we're gonna draw on the viney arms. Let's start on the left side here. We start just beside the collar, curve down and out towards the left, put that down. And now we're gonna go back out. Now from here, we're gonna turn in towards the wrist. Curving this around, pulling that in, and then we'll pull that down. We take that and flip it over on the right side. So let's line this up, curve down and out towards the right, curve it in. Now we're gonna go back out. Now we're gonna go around and pull this back in towards the wrist and then pull that down. Now I just wanna thicken this up along the outside. Starting from the tip, we're gonna taper out and just follow that same curve, leaving an even space gap all the way around until we get to the end, we're just gonna taper to a point. Let's do the same thing on the right. Add some leaves along the bottom here. Starting from this point, I'm going to curve up and over. Now from the tip, we're going to curve in the opposite direction in towards the bottom. Let's do the same thing on pointing in the opposite direction. Coming across and down and in the opposite direction. We'll do the same thing on the right. Let's add one more leaf in the center. Starting from the middle, we're gonna curve around and then up. And from the tip, we'll curve in the opposite direction back towards the center. Do the same thing on the right. Now let's draw on the second vine in behind here. We're gonna curve in the opposite direction. Start from the tip, curve up, and then we're gonna tuck this in behind, come down and then back out. Now right here, we're gonna curve in, curve back out, now right down here, we're gonna curve down and then in behind the leaves. Let's do the same thing on the right. Start by going up and then down. And we're sort of just weaving this through. Now we're gonna go back up and just thicken up the back vine. Start from the tip, just taper this around. in towards the point. Let's add a few small spikes along the vine, starting from the top, it's almost like a V shape, pointing outwards. So we're gonna add these to every curve. We're gonna do the same thing on the right side. Now we're adding these points to the outside curves of the vines. Now at the base of the leaves, I'm gonna leave a gap in the center. On the left, I'm gonna curve down and up. Curve in the opposite direction on the outside. Now we're gonna do another bump out on the other side. We'll do one more. Now at the end, I'm just gonna draw a half circle just to close that off. Now in between these two points, I'm gonna connect it with a curve going up and then back out. Let's take that and flip it over on the right side. And then we'll close off the end. Now in between these two points, we're just gonna curve up and then back down. Now let's add in the blade. Starting at the top of the curve, we're gonna go across. We're gonna pull that up. Now we're gonna continue this on the back side. So right down here, we're gonna hook this down. From this point, I'm gonna taper up and then in behind. Now we're gonna continue on this side, going out and then up towards the tip of the blade. We're gonna do the opposite on the right side. Start by going out. We're gonna hook that back up. Now on the back side here, we're just gonna hook that down. Going back to the tip, taper back in. And at the base here, we'll just hook this down. Now on this back side here, we're just gonna split this in half with another curve. 
Let's add a couple swish marks along the bottom. So on the outside here, I'm gonna curve up, down, and then up. And back at this point, I'm gonna taper in the middle so it gets thicker in the center, and then goes up to a point. We'll take that and flip it over to this side. We're gonna angle this one up. Starting up here, we're gonna curve down, over towards the right, and then back down. Go back to the top, and we're just gonna thicken this up in the middle, and then taper to a point. And that's pretty much it. There we have it, there's the pumpkin from Terraria. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.